My name is Tamar Abazadze and I will deliver this statement on behalf of Public Defender's Office of Georgia. This statement addresses the following issue, rights of prisoners in penitentiary institutions. This area of human rights contains a lot of sub-issues and today I will talk about violence and problems related to identifying, documenting and reporting incidents of violence to investigative authorities. Many countries during the second review urged Georgia to strengthen its efforts to combat ill-treatment of prisoners and ensure that proper and thorough investigations are conducted in order to hold perpetrators accountable. In particular, 10 recommendations were given to Georgia on that issue. Public Defender notes that fight against ill-treatment is considerably impeded by impunity of law enforcement officers for such crimes. The effectiveness of investigation is a systemic problem, as a result of which not a single law enforcement officer has been held responsible in criminal cases instituted based on Public Defender's 107 proposals submitted to the Prosecutor's Office in 2012-2019. Um, the problem of violence is especially acute in the presence of informal rule in penitentiary institutions. Uh, public defender has been uh, pointing out that the informal rule existing in penitentiary institutions creates serious threats to ill treatment of prisoners. The informal rule often leads to interprisoner violence and bullying. With the influence of criminal subculture, prisoners are divided informally. Uh, the informal rule um, is manifested in uh, taking punitive measures against those prisoners that disobey the informal rule. Inspection of penitentiary establishments revealed problems in the practice of medical professionals uh, employed by the penitentiary establishments in identifying and documenting alleged incidents of ill treatment. In semi-often prison facilities, upon finding injury, suspicious injury on a body of a prisoner, uh, doctors do not document them in accordance with the procedure determined by Order number, number 131 of the Minister of uh, Corrections and Probation of Georgia of 26 October 2016. In closed type prison facilities, the uh, injuries are documented only in those cases where, where uh, at the time of admission at the establishment, an accused person uh, reports ill-treatment by police officers. Public Defender notes that the faulty practice of documenting and identifying incidents of ill-treatment, among other factors, is preconditioned by inadequate uh, qualification of doctors, absence of confidential, confidential environment uh, for uh, doctor-prisoners meetings, the obligation to obtain informal consent from the prisoner, and many other normative shortcomings. Uh, under current regulation, a doctor is still obliged to report alleged uh, facts of ill treatment to the General Inspection of the Ministry of Justice, an agency institutionally linked to the penitentiary service and not to the independent investigative body such as uh, State Inspector Service. And of course, this process undermines the effectiveness of investigation of the facts of ill treatment of prisoners. As for the recommendations, in order to uh, overcome uh, criminal subculture and informal rule in the penitentiary institutions, we make following recommendations to the government of Georgia. Recommendation number one, to the end of uh, overcoming informal rule in penitentiary institutions, ensure elaboration of strategy in this regard. In order to identify uh, cases of ill treatment effectively, we recommend to amend Order 131 of the Minister of Corrections and uh, Probation of Georgia to the effect of determining the duty of a doctor to report the incidence of alleged ill treatment to the independent investigative body State Inspector Service. Thank you for your attention.